Good evening, uh, I'm Sebastian Anthony for Extreme Tech, uh, and you are looking at Windows 10 Technical Preview. Um, as you can see, it looks very, very similar to Windows 8.1 or even Windows 7. Um, I will upload some screenshots so you can see some of the more uh, fine details. Um, but immediately, the first thing you can see is that the windows themselves have a one pixel border around the edge. Uh, I think they have a more prominent drop shadow around the windows. It's uh, very, very clear in some cases where they, the windows feel much cleaner and more minimal. Uh, third party apps um, haven't been updated yet. You can see here the red X overhangs the corner. Uh, I've also noticed in some apps, for example, Photoshop, uh, the corners uh, the corners of these apps don't look quite right. Anyway, we'll leap straight into some of the new features. We have the Start Menu. Da-da! That was almost the Windows 95 startup sound. Um, it's exactly what we saw in the leaks. Um, it recommends apps. You can remove these tiles if you like. You can resize the tiles. Move them around, just drag, etc. If you unpin them all, I haven't. This is the first time I've used it, by the way. So what you're seeing here is live and uncut. There you go. So now we just have a straight up start menu. Doesn't look quite like Windows 7, but it's not bad. Um, the search box at the bottom is very similar to Windows 7, uh, but it now has some Bing functionality. So if we type extreme tech, you'll see some search results from the internet. Hopefully you can see this on the camera. Uh, but again, I'll put screenshots online so you can type, for example, extreme tech magazine. This pops open the search app, not a browser. It's interesting, but it's just Bing. This is just Bing. Anyway, uh, as you can see, Metro apps running in a window. We have the new menu up here. Um, there is an option, there's no charm bar, as you'll notice. Nothing from any of the corners. Um, there is an option to turn on the charm bar, which I've done. But I have it enabled right now, and I still have no charm bar. So that's probably part of the technical preview. You probably will have the option to turn the charm bar on. Uh, anyway, so for now you have app commands, search, share, play, full screen. Oh god. Here we go. Um, yeah, this moves nicely into the new snapping function. So in Windows 7 and 8 you could snap to the left, but now you get this snap helper thing. So you snap to the left and then, for example, I can open my browser over here. Um, you can now also snap on multi-monitor setups. You can snap in the middle, which is nice. And you can snap in the top corner. Or I think you can also snap in this top corner. Yeah. You can't snap. Oh, you can snap in the bottom corner as well. How about that? Ah. It tried to snap the task manager. Let's try that again. It tried to snap the task manager but failed. Um, I've noticed some bugs uh, with... Sorry, there's some loud biker outside. Um, I've noticed some bugs with the snapping. Um, if you see there's a border around the windows. Again, just a technical preview issue. And again, some things like Photoshop that has its own window elements. You can see the bar over here is stuck. Um, it doesn't follow around. Uh, I haven't actually even worked out how to move this at all, which might be a bug. Can you snap this down here? So some things you can snap. You can't snap. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you can snap Photoshop up there. Very cute. OK. Um, one thing I noticed, you can't minimize, There's, you can make these bigger, this is Metro apps, um, you can make them narrower, but there's a minimum height, <laughs> you can't make them any shorter for some reason. Um, then we have the new task view, 
uh, which is a new alt tab function. Um, I'm not personally a fan, I prefer the little icons, but maybe some people will like this. Uh, maybe you can do something... Sorry, this is probably getting <laughs> quite confusing now. Let's minimize a few of these things. Um, you can close you can close apps from here so I can close the store okay it's kind of cool still recording good um, what else was there there was some other new function one moment I wonder how you add new live tiles once you've removed them all that's interesting um, there's a search button um, which as far as I can tell shows it has the same functionality as the start menu but it also has a trending section <laughs> Windows 10 is announced how about that great oh, I hope my story's on here yeah, it's not instead you get PC world for some reason uh, I was going to show you something but I've forgotten ah yes the new Explorer. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty similar to the old Explorer. It's just flatter. Uh, ditto the jump menus. Uh, this is my Steam jump menu. Um, it's just flatter. Um, and then we have uh, the virtual desktops. Here we go, virtual desktops. Um, you can see all your open apps. I haven't done this yet, so this is quite exciting. Um, I click add a desktop, there you go, I have a new desktop, I have another desktop, I have so many desktops, wow. <laughs> uh, I think I can keep, oh, okay, um, okay, I have lots of desktops. There's probably a shortcut, there you go, so Windows tab shows you this display with the virtual desktops. So the virtual desktops have the same icons, but a different set of apps open. So there you go, this is my primary desktop. And then I bet I can move things to another desktop, maybe. Can I, hmm, ah, no. How do you move things between? desktops. Ah, there you go, move to. So you right click here, move to. Desktop 2. There we go. How about that? So now we have this desktop and another desktop. How exciting. Let's kill some of these virtual desktops. Wow, if you have multiple displays, you're going to have a lot of desktops. Um, I think that's the core features that are uh, we've been shown so far. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep poking around, um, look out for more videos and screenshots on extreme tech. I was Sebastian Anthony, goodbye.